Texter High Security, vi er fra 1. januar i år, en del av Texter-familien. Vi er det siste selskapet som ble, som ble, som ble en del av Texter. Vi har haft fokus på høysikkerhetssegmentet. Til høyre så ser dere litt i, 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 i grafikken her hvilke kunder vi typisk har jobbet med. Det er kunder som har ofte hatt lovpålagte krav til sikkerhet, type politi, forsvar, domstoler, nasjonale banker, regjeringer, etc. Historisk har mange av kundene etter tekstet hatt stor fokus på en digital transformasjon. Og etter hvert så ser vi at dette begynner å smelte sammen, altså kravet til, til transformasjon og krav til, til sikkerhet. Og det er litt av grunnen til at vi, vi har denne prestasjonen. Vi har hatt fokus på, på levering av, av sikre meldingstjenester, sikring av mobile enheter, sikring av kryptert tale, dokumenter og ikke minst også sikring av mennesker. Dette har vi jobbet med i, i 15 år. Og et av kravene våre har vært å ha løsninger som er sikkerhetssertifiserte. Dette var en artikkel som stod litt tilbake, at datatilsynet ikke griper inn mot legers eh, mobillovbrudd. Eh, Vi skjønner at det, er det, at det de oppnår er viktigere enn i varet av sikkerheten for personvar, sier fagdirektør Camilla Nervik i Datatilsynet. Men hun sier også at hun ber likevel helsemyndighetene og sykehuslederne ordne opp. Vi har hatt en god del møter nå ute hos eh, sykehusene, og blitt utfordret til å presentere en løsning som kan erstatte dagens bruk av WhatsApp, FaceTime, etc som har mangler når det gjelder sikkerhet og forvaltning, da det i mange tilfeller er ment til privat bruk. Med BBME, altså BlackBerry Messenger, som appen heter, adresserer vi denne problemstillingen og gir sykehusene mulighet til å standardisere på en app. For sikkerhet, GDPR, forvaltning og brukervennlighet er ivaretatt. Og ikke minst eh, Shadow Vite, som betyr at i dag at den enkelte bruker apper uten at IT og ledelse har kontroll og hva som brukes. BBME som i stort sett om, omfang brukes av sykehus verden rundt, eh, hvor vi erfarer at problemstillingen er universal, hvor leger og øvre sykehuspersonal ønsker på best mulig måte å hjelpe pasientene, som kan bety å dele bilde, en chat, en video, og gjerne da ut fra sin private smarttelefon. Med BBME kan vi tilby en meldingstjeneste-app som møter kravene til sikkerhet, som er enkel å bruke, som kan benyttes internt eller deles med andre sykehus som er enkel å administrere og integreres med for eksempel sykehus og AD, og ivareta kraven til GDPR. And to present BBM today, I'm pleased to introduce uh, you, Johns, from, uh, uh, from BlackBerry. So, uh, please, uh, Hugh. Good morning, everyone. Apologies for the delay. Hugh, Hugh Jones, uh, I'm from BlackBerry, principal sales engineer based in the UK. Thank you for the introduction, Morten. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about the BBM Enterprise application. It's our secure, reliable communication solution um, for your enterprise. It is widely used throughout the world. Um, it's, it's grown out of the consumer version from before. Uh, and the reason it's been so successful is not only is it a feature-rich instant messaging communication platform, but it's also an extremely secure uh, communication platform. It's widely used. Um, as I said, I live in the UK and I know from my own personal experience, it's widely used within uh, the blue light services within the UK. So the police, the fire service, uh, various arms of the military, some of the government, um, both the central government and local government agencies use it. Uh, and of course, the healthcare sector. Now, um, we have a great case study um, with the Grand River Hospital in Canada. And I've spoken to the lady that's been working on this. Um, and, and I have a much better understanding of uh, exactly what, 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 what the deliverables were for this case study as well. And we can follow up on this afterwards. But you can see here the challenges. So this hospital in um, Ottawa was looking for an efficient and secure mobile communication service uh, as an alternative to phone calls and various consumer messaging applications. Um, and it needed to be a, a protected and secure platform as well. And that was one of the issues um, because they wanted um, overall above anything else to protect and safeguard against breach of privacy. Uh, and there were some, uh, some other drivers for that as well. And, and one of those was principally losing, uh, minimizing the, the time that was lost uh, or they were losing through communications in other ways. 
but they wanted a consolidated, secure platform uh, that, that uh, protected privacy. So they, they implemented the, the BlackBerry Enterprise messaging platform. And um, it's that that I'm going to be talking to you today. Now their results and their outcomes were that um, they're now able to keep communicate in real time uh, about patient information, patient status, uh, and patient actions uh, without um, any delays to that. And also to minimize the risk of private healthcare information from leaking away into parts of the business that shouldn't be. They're also able, one of the big advantages is um, they're also able to communicate with clinicians and medical staff that aren't directly um, affiliated with that hospital. In other words, they're working in external organizations that have um, been, um, if you like, consolidated into a directory service so that they're able to do lookups and find and locate these people and again, maintain that secure security and privacy in communication. So a consolidated approach then is uh, one of time. Employees need immediate communications. It's kind of the whole principle of instant messaging. Uh, and we need to make sure that your applications are ac actually secure. So many of the consumer applications lack true security and privacy. Whilst many obviously have an end-to-end -end security model, it's the underlying principle and infrastructure that, um, li that, that, that is, if you like, the, the, the weak point of those and information can leak out in that way. And key to that is not only the privacy, but it's the management of that platform. Without management, it is an insecure platform. And trying to sort of leverage additional security and tools to, to maintain that privacy on a consumer service is uh, going to result in additional services, additional controls, uh, and that means increased infrastructure. It's costly and it's timely to set up and it's also costly and time to maintain going forwards. So we give you BBM Messenger, security, manageability and productivity in a single solution. It has that enterprise grade level of communica communication platform. Uh, it offers, uses the full features of a consumer messaging and conferencing application fast communications, collaboration, decision-making. And this is across all of the different platforms as well. So you've got your, your uh, Android-based devices, both tablets and smartphones, uh, the same for Apple, smartphones and tablets, but also desktops as well. So Chrome OS, netbooks, uh, laptops, PC, Windows-based laptops, and Mac as well. So we have clients for all of those. And we can run multiple clients on the same account as well. So in other words, you can have your chat um, and messaging on your iOS device, um, your, your iPhone, but also on your work PC, and it's synchronized. So secure messaging designed for the enterprise. Uh, here's a quick overview of the features, but I'm going to show you a video a little la later on that will dig into these a little bit more and give you an idea of the look and feel of the application. So one-on-one -on -one group chats, of course, uh, we can retract, hide, and we can search for messages, um, feedback, mentions, voice notes, location, uh, video and voice calling, of course, uh, and real-time location sharing as well. So we can share our location for a short period whilst we're trying to locate someone else. Now, key to this for us in this part of the world is that the service is compliant with the GDPR regulations and other regulatory requirements in other parts of the world. So HIPAA is obviously very popular in the USA. And BBM goes a long way to helping satisf satisfy the needs of GDPR and those compliance regulations. And we base this on a model. It's uh, what we call a privacy and security model, ICANN. And this is, you, know, you may have seen this elsewhere as well. And ICANN stands for identity, integrity, confidentiality, availability, and non-repudiation. Identity is one of the key features of BBM Enterprise. This is something that we can give you that, that the consumer applications cannot. It's the ability to prove, prove that a certain individual has been granted access to the system by the administrators. So we can tie that identity to whatever is at the back end. And for most people, that would be some sort of active directory or directory of users and um, accounts. So the ability to tie it back to those accounts 
rather than a, a consumer uh, email address or a, a phone number or some other entity is absolutely key to the security because we can then prove exactly who has access to the system and when they have access to the system. So as they join an organization, they receive that identity. And when they leave the organization, the identity is either deleted or retired and is no longer then able to access the service. And that is absolutely key. So not only do we provide um, security and integrity of messaging, but also security and um, integrity of the person and the identity of that person that's using it. Integrity is key to this. The certainty that data, so voice, video, messaging, whatever, has not been tampered or modified during the transmission or at rest. Um, and we digitally sign and fingerprint messages, which are verified. Confidentiality, of course. So we use uh, layers of encryption, multiple layers of encryption, in fact, to provide that confidentiality. So we um, ensure that only the person who knows the key or has the symmetric key can read that message and, val and validate it. Two layers of encryption, one at the transport layer and then another at the data layer of the content itself. Messages are obviously secured and available at rest when on the device. Um, so we encrypt information not only on the device, but also in transit as well. As I said before, up to five physical devices can be used. And non-repudiation, and this is also a key element, the ability to assert and correlate with a high degree of certainty that an action originated from the entity or individual that claimed to have originated it. In other words, the person that sent you a message is who they say they are and, and that the message they sent is as they sent it. And we use a combination of um, technology to do that, including signatures, identity verification, and so on. So that's the privacy and security model that underpins BlackBerry Messenger. And obviously that leads then into the way that we can help with GDPR compliance. And this is, this is key. Um, so a number of features that I'm going to be calling out here. So we help meet those security requirements from the GDR, uh, GDPR data protection. Uh, we have white papers and um, other content that we can share that go into that in, in more detail. That enhanced security model involves not only messaging, but also the voice and the video communications as well. As I said, available on Android, iOS, BlackBerry 10, Windows and Mac OS as well. And the security that we leverage into BBM is something that we've um, used um, with thousands of companies and users around the world, not only on BBM, but also on all of our other products and solutions. BlackBerry's been going for 35 years and security has underpinned almost everything we have done since day one. So you remember our devices and some of the other technologies we've had in the past. The security that we've built into these technologies and products and solutions um, has culminated in a deep understanding of how businesses operate and the kind of security and technology they need to be able to not only do their job, but do it in a secure, uh, private and managed way. <clears throat> And BBM is just a combination of that security and deep thinking and that deep experience that we've had. To do that, we're then protecting your most important assets, your privacy and your business data. And BBM is, is hosted uh, in the cloud um, and it's, it can be hosted in country as well to meet data severity requirements where justified. So that, that's a deeper conversation that we can have. So recap, messages between users are encrypted. They are decrypted and encrypted using symmetric keys. Each user has unique public private encryption and signing keys, two sets of keys. And those keys are generated on the FIPS 142 cryptographic library. So importantly, key generation is managed and controlled by the enterprise. Unlike a consumer messaging application where it's down to the individual user, Key generation is managed centrally, and that gives us that layer of enterprise control over the communications underpinning BBM Enterprise. And every message is using a new and random symmetric key for message encryption. So you can see the little diagram at the bottom. So from device to device, we use the wireless network and we intercommunicate over the BlackBerry infrastructure. The solid line gives us 
the TLS, so that's the, um, the uh, uh, infrastructure communication and encryption. So the TLS pipe, if you like, is created between the device and the BlackBerry infrastructure. And that's done at either end. And then the BBM Enterprise FIPS 140 cryptographic library encryption encrypts the data message or the voice or whatever it is, and that then flows from end to end from device to device. So that's the message, messaging, but the infrastructure itself, communication between the device and the infrastructure is encrypted. TLS encryption is then used. And that ensures that BBM enterprise data is then protected from eavesdropping or any manipulation, any kind of man in the middle type attacks. And as I said in the previous slide, messages are then piped through those TLS encrypted packets for the end-to-end -end experience. And the same diagram just repeats at the bottom. So BBM Enterprise, private messaging by design. GP GDPR uh, demands privacy by design principle and BBM is built to, to comply with that principle. All conversations and communications are automatically encrypted. And that's even messages for non-BBM Enterprise users. So we can open a chat up to external users and those users can join using a QR code or a URL and those conversations are also encrypted using the same underpinned technology. And that allows us to securely act, interact with external people such as uh, consultants, medical experts, and um, other organizations, so consultants and experts in other organizations as well. We can deploy it on premise, um, and that would then allow you to have complete control over your user's data. There's no uh, uh, cloud, if you like, data anywhere at all and all your data remains within your possession. Now, by its very nature, uh, instant messaging encourage, encourages careless data handling and file sharing. Um, it's that kind of ease of use and that easy communication that you can have with other people instantaneously in your hands. And it, 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 it removes that barrier to being, uh, to us thinking, if you like, in our human nature, thinking about the kind of information that we are sharing. But we at BlackBerry help you with BBM Enterprise remove that worry. Users can edit, retract, and set expiry times on single messages. And we also know that when messages have been received and read, so D delivered and R for read. And we can also control from uh, the central unified endpoint management console how long messages and pictures remain visible in a chat. So we can, for example, dictate that messages and pictures remain only visible for 48 hours, two days perhaps. There's no point in keeping that content any longer. And we can also disable copying as well. So we can prevent messages from being copied and shared into other people. So this helps uh, potentially sensitive data uh, and information from, uh, being, uh, from being accidentally disclosed. And I'm um, you know, repeating a little bit here, but as I said, consumer apps are generally designed for consumers, of course, and that leads to uh, situations where sensitive data can be leaked. Information can be copied and pasted from consumer applications into other applications. And we don't want that to happen. We want to stop that. And the platforms themselves may be susceptible to interception, particularly if they're not securely encrypted and particularly if they're not uh, located in secure data centers. Um, <clears throat> so GDPR also mandates that data protection is not undermined by any transmission outside of the EU. And of course, healthcare is a global, uh, a, a global issue, as, as, we, as we know from what's going on today. So we may want to transmit information outside of the EU to reach a particular expert. And the enterprise-grade security we give with BBM allows you to do that in a secure way even if those users are, of course, outside of the EU because of the end-to-end -end encryption and the control that we have. Chats always stay protected. So available mobile devices, tablets, desktops, um, key admit central administrative policies preventing um, accidental data loss and uh, make, minimizing that risk of violating GDPR regulations. But 
we do have all the rich features that you would expect from a consumer uh, instant messaging application as well. Key, of course, is audit logs. So with um, BBM Enterprise, we are able to audit all of the information that passes between users, and we are able to keep records of those uh, communications, and they are searchable, of course. Um, now, that may be required for compliance reasons and for proof of audits, not only in the healthcare sectors, but in other sectors as well, which is one of the reasons why BBM Enterprise is widely used in the financial sector, of course. Uh, archiving and audit logs are required for GDPR record keeping compliance. And we use the BlackBerry Unified Endpoint Management tool, which is our management console, to be able to perform that archiving. And that archiving then pulls those logs into a central repository. Um, of all of the sent and received messages are in there. So easy logging and auditing. Um, it's it's, it's uh, simple to then perform queries on those logs and uh, determine um, the audit trail. And those logs are optionally encrypted themselves. So uh, an encryption key can be used on the Unified Endpoint Management Console to make sure that all those logs are subsequently encrypted so they're only available to those people that would have access to that key. And that then obviously mandates that um, they wouldn't necessarily be available, for example, to the um, system administrators. So I have a video here of those features, which I just wanted to run with you for a couple of minutes. Um, if I start this up, it's from UEM. So here's the device and you can see someone's typing uh, a message to Gideon. And you can see the R's and D's on the screen there as those messages are read and delivered. And we can prioritize those messages to high priority as well. Attachments can be sent, pictures and files, of course, delivered, and then they'll turn to R as they're read. Messages can be retracted, edited, deleted, quoted, forwarded. So you can change a message if you've got the date wrong, for example. And they can be timed as well. So we can set a timer there for a few seconds. Which means as the person reading the message, they'd have 10 seconds to read it before it expires. And now we can forward that to someone else. And we can jump straight into a secure call as well. support voice notes so we can create a voice note and key to this is group chat so we can start a group chat we can then pull in other people we know when those people join the chat there's an audit trail of that as well And then if we want to meet someone, we can share our location for a limited time and meet up. And we can do all this from the desktop as well. Share documents.
So um, you saw from that presentation how easy it was to pull in people um, into those group chats as well. And we can do that because we have a cloud, cloud directory service that runs behind BBM messaging. Um, and we do that by integrating in with your Active Directory environment, for example, if you have an Active Directory. So that allows us to be able to pull in coworkers and start a message. Um, and we can do that not only on their name, but also on their job title, their department as well. So in a healthcare environment, we, that would obviously be important if you were trying to pin someone down and perhaps couldn't remember a name, but you need a, a particular specialist or someone from a particular department. And all of this information and almost all of the features that you saw in that video are managed and controlled by the management console, the UEM console. So you see there Michael's detail, senior product management. Um, we can pull that in and, <clears throat> and then start a chat, voice call and so on. And we can do this not only in our own internal organization, but as I suggested, we can do this across other organizations as well. So trusted cross organization contact lookup. And what we're doing here is building a trusted network of BlackBerry messaging, uh, BBM messaging enterprise organizations. So we can then seamlessly look up contacts across those organizations as if they were in our own organization. And that allows us to then um, facilit facilitate collaboration between different agencies and organizations. But we still have that same level of security um, as we would have for any internal conversation as well. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions? Thank you very much, Hugh. It's uh, great to have you joining us from the, from the UK. My name is Eric Haugen. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for uh, TechStep. Four questions that we always get is, yes, it's a messaging service. Yes, we've heard about BlackBerry, but quite frankly, I can, I can go and get uh, a free app called uh, WhatsApp or, or something similar, uh, they're, mm. they're secure as well. I mean, it's freely available, everybody knows it, everybody has it. And uh, we do know that uh, in practice, a lot of people um, are using these privately and that they're using it also in hospitals. I mean, mm. what, is, what, is the, what is the reason, the, 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 the core reason why those are not as usable for this purpose as uh, BBMA? Mm. Yes. Well, um, well, I like I like to think there's two reasons, really, to be honest. Uh, I think the first one is, and I kind of sort of emphasized it a little bit, but perhaps I can recap, is the identity. So it's ensuring that the person using the application is who they say they are and that they're authorized to be using the application at that time. You know, what I mean is, is um, you imagine we have a, a, you know, you said WhatsApp. So we have a WhatsApp group. And yes, we have the end-to-end -end encryption. So yes, we know that the, the content is secure. But how do we know that the person, the recipient at the other end, is still authorized to be receiving that content at that time? And therein lies the problem. The identity behind BBM is based on your directory service. So let's assume it's Active Directory. We know that you and I are having this conversation and you and I are in the Active Directory. We're legitimate users and, and uh, um, members of a hospital, for example. But if we were using a consumer application like WhatsApp and you were then to leave and go somewhere else, you would still have retention of that WhatsApp application and you would still be able to receive that content. Now, I don't know that. I'm still sending you confidential information. Great, it's secure. You're receiving it securely, but you're not a legitimate receiver anymore. You are not allowed to receive that content anymore. Because BBM is based on your directory service, when you leave the organization, your directory account is either deleted or, or locked, closed, uh, and that would then um, obviously automatically remove you from the BBM organization, and you would no longer be able to receive that content. So it's having that management level of control. I think the other feature that I wanted to touch on, and I did touch on, was, was the auditability, the, the, the ability to simply audit messages and information automatically from um, a central repository. Understand, mm. understand. And um, another question that came up in advance of uh, the, uh, the webinar is, this is obviously a, a service hosted by BlackBerry. Um, and the question is, what, what kind of data is actually uh, recorded and, and, and are they safe? The, the, 
you, you're talking about the audit information and the content yes. as well. Yeah, both. So I mean, so I mean, all all, all the all the content is is passed from uh, you and I. We we have our devices. Uh, you saw the, the the encryption levels that I went through. We have transport encryption, and we also have the content encryption. Only you and I have that content on our devices, and we know because of the identity those devices are authorized to have that content. So we know it's contained within our organization. Uh, the audit information is kept on the management console and the management console would be a server or service running in your own data center. So that management information is kept on, on that platform. And as I said, you can, we have the option of um, also encrypting the logs on that as well. So if you think about the BlackBerry and the, and the service that we're offering from our instruction uh, infrastructure, we're just facilitating the communications. We're not retaining any of that data or information within our data centers at all. All kept locally and safe. Correct. <clears throat> all right, uh, I see we are a couple of minutes uh, over time. So I, I think we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave it. Thank you so much for having the time to come and, and talk to us. Um, I'm just You're gonna welcome. wrap up very quickly in Norwegian uh, and Chris is gonna help me with the, with the slide uh, regarding an opportunity for all the attendees. Uh, so på vegne av uh, Morten og uh, Hugh, uh, tusen takk for at dere hadde tid og anledning til å være med oss på denne onsdagen for påske. Jeg uh, håper alle får en, uh, om kanskje en uvanlig, men en god påske, og så uh, vil vi sende ut informasjon i etterkant til dette webinaret. Og igjen, har du lyst til å prøve uh, BlackBerry Messenger for Enterprise, så er det bare å ta kontakt.